Meet NASA Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with NASA Link. To join the adventure, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out. Alright my people, welcome back to our next one. Welcome back to the channel, you know. And um, today, we are doing a spearfishing link up today. Me and Jessica, Jessica Cargill from Jessica Cargill channel. And I'm um, Kenado there, yeah man. So the three are we are go do some spearfishing this man all right so the weather stay away still the sea kind of you know the breeze upon you and weather pass but it look away to we so we still you know the spearfishing you know so we can avoid it we are going to see we are going to see if we can catch something nice but we can do a nice cook up with yeah man so hopefully that can happen so just pray for us although we know say the prayer is not going to be after we catch our <laughs> belly full but still pray still yeah man so we want to catch something nice so we're there yeah man and we are going out there all right all so. right people thanks greetings yes nice to be here finally you know long time i wanted to join the crew and see what's up on this side yeah right. so ready ready Right, so make we go, make we go and uh, see what go on, man. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, my people. What? What's up? That's on a whitey brown. What? The winner cars is still in high. See channel there, we are going to try to go through this up. Yeah man, one of the most fine things we can go in uh, on the grill. Yeah, man. So see condition here. The water was shaky bad, but we still had out to hunt. So this is my first job. At first, I have to make some halfway jump in order to see the bottom. The water visibility was about 80%. We could hardly see anything. We make it this far, we are on the deeper side so we just continue with the hunt. All I was doing in the early here is just making some random job to see what's going on on the bottom. Jessica was in the shallow, but we wasn't too far apart, we could see each other. Hyan Kenaro was doing the same strategy.
So here I saw a snapper, about a pound size mutton snapper. Lined it up and took the shot. But I didn't get it. I could hardly see it. That skin had made a job there. You can see it's crawling on the bottom. Here I came across this spot with some surgeon fish, so I made a job. When I got down, a huge school of surgeon fish was hanging out. So I head down in the trench and I saw a lovely mutton snapper, about a two pound size one. So I start to line it up. And one of the fish spoke it and it head down the trench, head out to the deep. had a job and some grunts came in from half the reef tank some nice size one but they were too far away I couldn't get a shot on one in the mid part of the dive we started to see one and two fish that we could spear, some nice size one, regardless of the water quality. But the small fishes that contribute to the beauty of the reef is still around. You can see them all around the place. So this trap, I always make this trap whenever I reach this spot. Some snapper always hang out down there, but this time around none. Here is a harder jack. I saw two nice ass eye jack, so I lined up one. Took the shot, barely grange it. You can see it's two lovely one. I showed them to Kenado. But right at this spot, it's about 50 feet, and he was way at the surface. So by the time he got down there, they head off to the deep. So that's Kenada down there. He just made a random job. So here I made a next random job. This spot, I always saw a barracuda here. But this time none. But straight in front of me, I saw a few yellow tail snapper. So I cling to the rock. And 
wait a little bit but they saw me and was delaying none of them head towards me Kenado made a job right here and surfaced and told me that some chubs outside jacks is at this location so I made the job When I got down I saw that a lot of chubs is here I saw some outside jack I saw a barracuda over in the distance so I started to shake the spear gun but it didn't came in I was hot in the hoping deer, so I moved to a different spot. So whenever I made the job, I can hide myself. So can I made the first job at this spot on surface? So I made my job. So I land on this rock and lay flat on my belly. The chubs came in real close this time. So I lined up one of the nice ones and took it. The other species of fish head off to the deep. So our only chance was chubs. So I spear the first one. This one is about a cheap pounder, nice size. So Kenado finish it off by killing it. And Jessica came in to get her shots. I made a next job at the same location where I just peered the chub. He went down and do the same thing, lay flat on his belly. So he speared one of the chub as well, and the line got tangled down there with the chub. So I went down and pull out the line and get the fish. Before I head down, Jessica was already down there checking out what's going on. A 
And right here where the fish is tangled is 50 feet. All the way to the bottom is 65. So here have a little depth to it. The fish wasn't tangled that bad. I pulled it out in no time and head back to the surface. So now we have two lovely chop. Not the best fish, but it is what we can get, so we have to work with it. So I made a next job at the same location. Now the chubs are scattered, but I wasn't interested in any more of the chub. But I saw a Portuguese, that's the same batfish. But when I got down, I don't see where it went. So I just turned back because we've been in the water for about one and a half hour. And the water visibility wasn't right. So we decide that we're gonna head in the reef and swim against the current up back. So here I came across this lovely sea hill. Kenada was in front of us, so me and Jessica swim close. So this is a quab, a nice quab, so I took it. While we were heading in, some rain started to fall, but not for a long though, it fell for about 15 minutes. Kenada was the first one to reach back to the exit point. Alright my people, so we come out of the water, safe and sound. Yeah man, the, the water, I'm not telling you like, the water is rough bad, but you see that area, we have one piece of water out there where we know say, we could have dive and see some fish, but when we go down, me and Kenny had to make a few dives, and when we went down, we see a lot of fish, we see some barracuda, we see snappers, we see chubs, we see our side jack, we see um, Portuguese, that's bad fish, and um, we didn't end up landing none of those, only we find two nice chubs, but the best fish them, we don't get none of them. But we find two nice chubs, but we done there and we do the hardest part I have to go out there. So, waff it up with Fran, do a cook up on the beach side there. No, yeah man, so, we go to the, the, the supermarket and we, we get a few things. Yeah man, and we get some coal. And we are going to do a local cook up, right? So, yeah, man, the, 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 the weather is just right, you know. You know? The sun is not too hot and the, the breeze is not too high, so we are going to do something. Alright, my people, so we get some coal here, so Jessica seek out the coal. Yeah, man, we have a nice coal stove, old fashioned style, right here. Yeah, man, and over here, so now. We have um I don't know we have a regular the season them when we have turn around we don't want nobody see them until a company has to sponsor we and we have the boat tire here so see them everybody at yard must know this yeah man so and we have some Irish we have two onions and you know file paper and a bird there so 
Some drink, you know, red stripe beer, more and wait up a fish with some of them better. Yeah, man. Nevertheless, apart from the rough sea, the place looking beautiful. This is how we are going to deal with it. Yeah, man, so. Where next job? Drop in the next big job. We can show them in the details where we find, you know? Yeah, man, so that's how we catch in the details. We catch two lovely job. Yeah, man, so. And a small quab there, so. And other fish, other damsel fish. Yeah, man, so. But the difference with the chub do you know, you see the, 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 the chub them, them have a different. That one have a bigger forehead than this one have tail fatter. Me eat that one already, tastes bad. Me never eat that one yet. So we are going to try that one here today. Yeah man, because that one here different, so I don't know when it tastes. So that one here are going to be the thing, you know. But the thing is, if you chub them feel we have two other slices of fish so we are going to grill the same way, you know. Yeah man, so we are gonna have something to eat regardless. Yeah man, so we are gonna do like a clean up on them. Yeah, man. It's been a while since I do a hot door cook, so today I'm really happy that we caught these two chub. As I said before, the chub is not the best eating fish, so I'm going to make sure it's well seasoned and cooked good. So we got the fish cleaned up, so it's now time to get so them seasoned. They look seasoned up here now. Come yeah, on, because a cold weight pan now, man. Pull a bun out. The chew a stick in it. Yeah, we have to season up on each other. The people, what are going on now? You see the chub? The chub now is going on a file paper. The chub just go, I go grill straight like this. So, I just go season up the chub, rub some butter upon the chub, and put them on the grill. And then I wrap up the, the, the other slice fish them. The other fish them in a, um, in a file paper, you know? Yeah, man. With some onion and sweet pot and Irish potato, not sweet potato. So, that I go on for what I go Make sure you show the chub well done. So I just seasoned the chub and I'm going to add it on the grill just like that. The other fish that we have, we're going to wrap them in fire. The grill is here. I'm 
I left my jerk pan, I'm sorry, 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 boy. But that's how you go, we have to work with we have, you know? Yeah, man. People say the chub are a touch one side for itself, but the, the fire low. The grill, the grill is not good, you know, man. I don't know if a big one they could have worked, you know, man. Big one can work on the rest of it. You have to catch you, you know, man. The chub are going to go, you know, man. You know, man. I try my best with the chub, so if you don't taste good, I can't do nothing. <laughs> but nevertheless, we're going to eat it. Right, so so go, we have two files up here, you know? so we have to catch them. We don't want them to get too much of the heat. We have to catch them like one right here, and probably the next one right here. Car carry them in a little bit. You know? yeah, man. The chub is coming fine, you know? the chub looks good. You know? The way the chub look, you see if it is taste so tell your boy. You know? And both seen people could have a cheer his back. Yeah, man. Only a red stripe beer pan table. Eh? We set up our next fire, we put the chub on, because the chub is a bun out to all the coal. Yeah, man, so we soon start eating, you know? We just enjoy the beautiful beach. Although the sea rough, the sea is spectacular sea. You know? So, see how that grill over there, so, you know, so the chub tastes good, you know? Yeah, man, see each other. You know, the taste and say it tastes good. We're looking. The chub was using up a lot of the fire, so we have to make a separate fire for it. <laughs> Where you say the chub tastes what? Tastes good. You soon find that out. Let's <laughs> see what I'm going to eat, you know, man. People say, I'm going to eat a piece of the chub, you know, and see. Right, so. Some Why this? The chub tasted really good. I couldn't believe it. It was well done. This chub was a little different from the other ones, but my main reason is, I think, is the way we seasoned it. People, I must say, eating time you now. We are going to go and feed food.
We all enjoy the chub, it was very tasty. But today doesn't mean that I'm going to try to catch any more of them. Only if we end up in a sticky situation where we really need it. History, my people, history and chop get eat off. I know the other fish they don't touch it, you know. You have one, yeah? History, this. Man, and chop get so so bone left. So be good. Still am not there. The sit right here. Yeah. Mm. Although the place over chaos, here still look good, you know? Yeah, man, it's a nice area. We did enjoy the afternoon, the vibes was just right, although the sea was rough, the hearer was still okay. Why my people watch a brother? Long time they are watching me this sitting on their nose. You know. They are stick on their nose. They still do. They still bad man. They just drop it. Eh? Well, we are going to go on for the next two fire you know, you know? Yeah, man. We are going to check out how they stay. They know how to pull them. Why not I fire people? Barra. <laughs> eh? We shall hit Barra. Barra snapper. The well do man. Smooth and looking good. This is a good coat, you know. Well done. Nice. So we eat what we can out of the remaining fish and get ourselves ready for the road because night was up on us. Alright my people, so we come to the end of the next wonderful day again. So we do a look cook up on the beach at first, we do a catch and then we do a cook up. The, the, the expectation was well completed, you know. I do the sea rough, we still do our things here, you know. Me and Kenardo and Jessica, you know, the two of them they have here, I, I give me a video like because now it gets right on the meat side. Yes. So, yeah, man, the next wonderful video I come to happen. So, you don't know what the thing said, Kenardo channel in the description already, Jessica channel, I go join the description. The description you now, so yeah, man. So, go over there, check out our channel, nice channel, yeah. Man. So, you don't know anything. Until next time, Nasa Lins, I say, do catch any next one, alright? <laughs>